Warning, the Savage Nation contains adult language, adult content, psychological nudity. Listener discretion is advised. And now, America's most exciting radio talk show, The Savage Nation, home of unprotected talk, borders, language, culture. And here he is, Michael Savage. And welcome to The Savage Nation. This is John DePietro sitting in for Dr. Michael Savage. We'd love you to be part of the program today. You can give us a call 1 855 400 Savage. 1 855 400 7282. As always, visit our website, michaelsavage.com, where you, was, you will see listed, where you will see listed, Michael Savage, his new book, Countdown to Mecca. Under the threat of a third world war, nothing matters except the mission. You can order it at the website. Isn't it interesting how the New York Times omits Michael Savage's new bestseller? That tells you, folks, just how good it is. You can also see various stories that are in the news, whether it be about Hillary and the Benghazi emails or various Obama scandals. And a lot more. It all starts by going to michaelsavage.com. And again, the new book, it's out now, Countdown to Mecca. Not only does it make a great Memorial Day gift, it makes a great Father's Day gift. It is a great read. Well, we are in uh, tough shape when you have to depend on the likes of Elizabeth Warren. That's who you have to depend on right now. Senator Elizabeth Warren. Because she's pushing for transparency with this Obama trade, the Obama trade bill that right now the Republicans are pushing through. Why are they helping him? Why are they going forth? Where is the transparency? There's a great story out, and it is on the website, michaelsavage.com. Even Republican Orrin Hatch admits on the Obama trade bill, he doesn't even know what's inside. If there was ever administration that you need transparency on, I think you would agree that it's this one that you need transparency. Now, Mitch McConnell spoke out, spoke on C-SPAN. Let's listen to him talking about the Obama trade deal. This bill represents an opportunity for Republicans and Democrats to stand together for the middle class. So I hope our friends across the aisle will allow us to seize this opportunity, and I'm optimistic. We all know that trade is important for American workers and American jobs. And we all know that by passing this legislation, we can show we're serious about advancing new opportunities for bigger American paychecks, better American jobs, and a stronger American economy. Yet they won't disclose everything that's in the bill. Do you trust Orrin Hatch? Do you trust Mitch McConnell? Do you trust President Obama? 1-855-400-SAVAGE. 1-855-400-7282. Think of this. It now comes down to Elizabeth Warren, where she talks about the fact that they're keeping it the trade deal a secret because the public would oppose it. Let's hear. This is Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren. Even members of Congress are prohibited from talking about the details in public. And yet, in the next day or two, the Senate is scheduled to vote on whether to grease the skids to make that secret trade deal, the TPP, the law of the land. This isn't how democracy is supposed to work. One of our fundamental principles of representative government is transparency. Our government is supposed to keep things secret from the people only if it has a really, really good reason to do so. You know, and there's a recent, there's a new poll out that shows just how little people trust Congress. Do you trust any deal? Why won't they disclose what's in it? Why are the Republicans, why is Orrin Hatch and Mitch McConnell, why are they in favor of something that even the Democrats are afraid of, the the secrecy that is in it? You know, there's a new poll out that just 23% of Americans 
See, congressional Republicans are keeping the promise they made during last fall's campaign. 65% say, say they're not. People do not trust, and with good reason. Think of the secrecy that we've had and we've gone through. And that we're going through right now with the Clintons. And now you have President Obama, who, I mean, I, I don't trust. There's no reason to trust him. It takes Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren to step up and say, if people knew what was in this, they would not want it because it's wrong. one 800 savage How can Orrin Hatch admits he doesn't even know what's in it and yet is saying to go along with it? We're going to start with Cameron, who's listening on WABC in New York. Cameron, welcome. You're first up on the Savage Nation. Hello, Cameron. Hey, John. Always great to hear you, whether it's in Providence or across the nation. Thank you very much, Cameron. Uh, The answer to your question on do we trust uh, this team of uh, McConnell and Obama and Jarrett and uh, uh, Reid and all the other Republicans on the same team, no, we can't trust them because they've all been neutralized and caponized by the left through Hillary Clinton's obtaining of 19,000 FBI files through the use of a drug dealer and a bartender called Craig Livingstone years ago. And uh, at the time it happened, I noticed it and, and tried to spread the word about it. But what you have now is no opposition to Clinton or anyone else on the left because everybody's dirty laundry is in her hands, and she will expose every woman that McDonald ever laid down with because the FBI knows that, and she will and, and she will expose everything about every Republican, and they know that they are powerless, and they must roll over and play the game that is led by George Soros and Valerie Jarrett, and so we have no loyal opposition, do we? Well, Cameron, thank you for the call. No, we don't. And for those that are listening right now, and you elected Republicans, as most people listening to me have, but you you elected them there to keep an eye on this president. Things have to be transparent. Think of the level that we're at, that you have the Democrats, led by Elizabeth Warren, screaming for more transparency. Orrin Hatch doesn't even know what's in the trade bill. He doesn't even know what's in it. Two Democrats even praised, think of how far this has fallen, even praised President Bush, who released his free free trade text in 2001. And yet here you have President Obama, who again tries to control the media, doesn't want to put information public, trying to hide it from the public, and the Republicans are going along with him. 1-855-400-SAVAGE. Do you trust your representatives in Congress? Has this president given you any reason to just trust him, to go along, that you have to take our word for it? We know what's in this bill, and it's in everyone's best interest. We don't need to release it, that we're going to keep it. We're going to keep it from the general public. I don't, and I can't believe I'm actually commending Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren for saying this should be transparency. Why is Mitch McConnell and Orrin Hatch being almost co-conspirators and going along with Team Obama? 1-855-400-SAVAGE. Let's go to line 8. Charlie is listening on WFNC. Charlie, this is John DePietro, and you're up on the Savage Nation. Okay, thank you, John. Very welcome. If, If the public isn't irate over the move that the government is making. They should be. We're passing all of our power to the federal government without asking anything about what we're voting on. So this becomes a dictatorship. They're doing this in secret. Most people don't even know what they're voting on, the same as they did with the Affordable Care Act. They're doing it again with this. Does the president have your trust, Charlie? Neither. The president does not have my trust, and our federal government does not have our trust. Thank you for the call, Charlie. Nor nor do I think they should. I mean, nor do I think they should. If you'd like to read the story, by the way, you can go to our website, michaelsavage.com. 
400 Savage. Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren went to the Senate floor to push for immediate consideration of a bill that would make the Obama trade text public. Right now, think of this, folks. Congress has to go to a secured room to review the text, can't take notes, or out to discuss what's in, in, in it with the public. And that motion failed. Why? Senator Orrin Hatch objected. Think of where we are with the Democrats appraising that even President Bush, who they detested, released his free trade text. And here we are, 2015, if there was ever a president where we need transparency, if there was ever a president, here you have Democrat Elizabeth Warren, the progressive, the farthest to the left, saying we should keep, you know, why? Why should we keep the deal secret? Because if it was made public, that people would oppose it? That's not how the democracy is to work? And instead, her bill gets shot down. Who shoots it down? Orrin Hatch. And Orrin Hatch admits he doesn't even know what's in the bill. How is that possible? 1-855-400-SAVAGE. Let's go to line three. Fran is listening in New York on WABC. Fran, you're up next on the Savage Nation. Yes. I, go right ahead, Fran. I can't believe that we're letting the, the government uh, get away with this again, that they decide for us what's good for us as if we're a bunch of morons. Uh, you have Boyner, who shouldn't be uh, the uh, Speaker of the House. McConnell is another waste. And... The Obama government has got to be the mo- the most corrupt government in my lifetime, and I'm over 70. I just can't believe that this continues to happen, one thing after another, where they keep on getting away with atrocities that other governments would have been in jail for a long time ago. Thank you for the call, friend. Let me go to line five. Joe is listing on WMAL. Joe, this is John DePietro, and you're up next on the Savage Nation. Hello, Joe. Hi, good afternoon, John. Thanks. Hi there, Joe. Go right ahead. Um, yeah, I heard all that this morning here when they were talking, and, you know, in um, the uh, West Virginia, he, he made a good point. He says when they're allowed to look at this bill, they have to go into the secret room. They're not allowed to take any paper or pencils so they can write notes. They're not allowed to discuss it with their aides who are experts on this. And they're not allowed, basically, they're not allowed to um, discuss it with anybody. And he says, I don't even have a photographic memory, and it's so big, I can't remember everything, so how can I possibly understand what this thing is? And uh, another good point that was made that was uh, back when President Bush was in office, he actually released um, several, released uh, the trade bill back in several months uh, prior to this. So it really scares me of why this is such a secret bill, why we can't, as a public, understand and know what's in it. It's like like the other gentleman said, it reminds me of the uh, Affordable Care Act, where uh, Obama was up there saying, you got to call your congressmen, you got to call your senators, we have to pass this bill. And nobody knew what it was. And Not exactly. That's exactly right, Joe. We're going to leave it there. Folks, 1-855-400-SAVAGE, 1-855-400-7282. This is John DePietro sitting in for Dr. Michael Savage. This is the Savage Nation. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. Your Savage Nation is sponsored by SwissAmerica.com. It's the only company I trust for tangible assets, gold and silver. Call 800 B U I C O I. So if there are no good reasons for secrecy here, that leaves only a bad reason. And believe it or not, it's a reason I've heard people give multiple times. We should keep the deal secret because if the details were made public now, the public would oppose it. Well, that's how our democracy is supposed to work. If the TPP is mostly done and the public wouldn't support it if they could see it, then it shouldn't become the law. That is Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren actually speaking truth for once. You're listening to the Savage Nation. This is John DePietro sitting in for Dr. Michael Savage. You can join the program 
400 Savage. Let's go out to line seven. Pat is listening on WJR in Detroit. Pat, welcome. You're on the Savage Nation, Pat. Thank you, John. I really appreciate what you're doing here. You know, John, it makes my blood boil to think we're coming up on Memorial Day. People gave their lives, my family members and countless others across this nation, to be betrayed like this. Our country does not work like this. And amongst many others, I think Boehner and I think uh, McConnell, these guys need to be fired. And I'm tired of my letters not being answered properly. I am tired of just being disrespected by these guys. Like I said, it makes my blood boil. Pat, do you trust this president or do you trust this Congress? I do not. Neither. I, I am angry, extremely angry with them. Thank you for the call, Pat. Just the audacity that, you know, the, the whole thing is a secret. And for Orrin Hatch to say that he doesn't even know what's in it, I mean, that is a complete embarrassment. Let's go to line five. Peggy is listening on WMAL in Washington. Peggy, you're up on the Savage Nation. Hello. You know, John, uh, the polls show that 70 percent of people, Republican and Democrat, are against the TPP. And that's because it doesn't work. NAFTA didn't work. CAFTA didn't work. The only people that, that benefit are the big corporations and transnationals, and the people who are just pushed aside and lose their jobs and everything else. And I'll tell you, John, I am a social conservative, and I vote Republican because I'm, I'm pro-life and I'm pro-traditional family. But when it comes to things like this, I'm thinking about casting my vote for Elizabeth Warren if she decides to run. I really am. And uh, I'm, I'm sorry for the Democrats, but they're shills to corporations and big banks. And you can see it when they support things like this as TPP. It's not oh. helping me. It's no, not- it is not. And I'll tell you, Peggy, it's pretty sad that it's the Democrats and Elizabeth Warren calling for the transparency. 1-855-400-SAVAGE. 1-855-400-7282. This is John DePietro sitting in for Dr. Michael Savage. And this is... The Savage Nation. And this bill represents an opportunity for Republicans and Democrats to stand together for the middle class. So I hope our friends across the aisle will allow us to seize this opportunity, and I'm optimistic. We all know that trade is important for American workers and American jobs. And we all know that by passing this legislation, we can show we're serious about advancing new opportunities for bigger American paychecks, better American jobs, and a stronger American economy. That is Republican Mitch McConnell, an Obama ally. You're listening to the Savage Nation. This is John DePietro sitting in for Dr. Michael Savage. Remember to visit our website. It's michaelsavage.com. Remember the doctor's new book is available right now, Countdown to Mecca. It's available in stores. You can also order it from the website. Find out why the New York Times is not including it on their bestseller list. And you can also see various stories that are in the news, many stories you can't find anywhere else. Log on at michaelsavage.com. Let's go to your phone calls. 1-855-400-SAVAGE. Again, Mitch McConnell, in this case, Orrin Hatch, going along with the president on secrecy. What is in this bill? Why is it taking, of all people, the fake Indian, Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren, to call for transparency in this bill? Let's go to Pete on line two, listing on WJR in Detroit. Pete, you're up next on the Savage Nation. Hello, Pete. Good morning, sir. Hi there, Pete. Go right ahead. This trade bill, if it passes with Republican votes, the first words out of the unions, the Democrats, and the media are going to be Republicans hate workers. They hate unions. They're exporting jobs. But they're just going to conveniently forget that this was the president's idea, just like sequestration. And um, I don't see why nobody can talk about this bill, but Dianne Feinstein can get on TV and just spill the beans on all the CIA interrogation techniques. Well, you know, it's th- thank you for the call, Pete. You know, what's interesting, folks, is, I, I mean, who is voting, making decisions on voting for Republican for feel or feeling that, you know, they're really showing me that they can work with the president? 
I mean, are you sending people wherever you can hear me right now? Are you sending people to Washington because they can work with the president? So they're going to work with the president? I, I, I thought it's supposed to be the party of opposition, the party to keep this administration in line. This is the party of secrecy. Who is sending someone to Washington to work hand in hand across the aisle with Team Obama? Let's go to line three. Curtis is listing on WBMQ in Georgia. Curtis, this is John DePietro, and you're up on the Savage Nation. Hello, Curtis. Hey, John. How you doing? Very well, Curtis. Go right ahead. Just want to say happy uh, Memorial Day to all the vets out there. Uh, Michael said it the best two weeks ago. He said, if Obama's for it, there's probably something wrong with it. <laughs> everything we've seen from this guy, you can best believe. And the Republicans, hey. They're slipping. Like Michael said, I'm a nationalist now. He said he's a nationalist. That's what I am. Uh, did, John, did you say you were from Providence? Well, a, a call. thank you for the call. A caller had had, uh, had said that, yes, originally from the Northeast. Let's go to line seven. Frankie is listening on WABC in New York. Frankie, you're up next on the Savage Nation. Hello, Frankie. Hey, guys. How are you doing, John? Very well, Frankie. Go right ahead. Love you. Got all the respect in the world for Mr. Savage. Thank you. The question is, it's not so much trust, because that's an oxymoron. Trust in government don't work. It's like the legality. Who is really responsible? Who's the, the guy that's pushing this, that's going to make it stand? Because as far as I'm concerned, I was thinking about it the other night. What are politicians practicing? Politics. Okay, let's look at this. Poly ticks. Poly, like in the lie detector test, yes. Ticks, blood sucking insects. So it's truly, they're lying, blood sucking insects from the word go. I know, but, you know, Frank, th- Frankie, thank you for the call. I mean, one way is, uh, you know, there has to be trust but verify. The fact that they won't even let us know what's in the bill. And again, let's play clip two. It comes down to the Republicans are on one side. Who's fighting or who's opposing the president? Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren. Let's listen to Senator Warren. Even members of Congress are prohibited from talking about the details in public. And yet, in the next day or two, the Senate is scheduled to vote on whether to grease the skids to make that secret trade deal, the TPP, the law of the land. This isn't how democracy is supposed to work. One of our fundamental principles of representative government is transparency. Our government is supposed to keep things secret from the people only if it has a really, really good reason to do so. I better check the temperature in health because I think I actually agree with Elizabeth Warren, the senator from Massachusetts. one 800 savage Orrin Hatch goes along with the president. Mitch McConnell goes along with the president. Orrin Hatch admits he doesn't even know fully what's in the bill, and he goes along with President Obama. Do you trust this Obama administration? Why are the Republicans going along, pushing his agenda forward? Is that why you sent them to Washington? Let's go to line six. Eric is listening on KSFO in San Francisco. Eric, you're up on the Savage Nation. Hello, Eric. John, thank you very much for bringing this particular point up, that Warren Hatch has no idea what's in the bill, but yet he's willing to vote for it. There is a law in the land right now that CEOs are criminally and personally responsible for signing on their financial statements. And uh, and the, the fact that the idea that we hold our public officials not to a different standard is absolutely ludicrous. The call, Eric. It, it, it certainly uh, d- does not play into our best interest. And, and and what I don't understand is what why would they, of all the things, what, why would they play into this? Do they underestimate just how little people trust this president, how little people trust Washington? Is there someone listening that says, yes, I sent my representative to Washington, even though he's a Republican, to work closely with the president? Let's go to line eight. Joe is listening to the Savage Nation on a great station. Again, you can call in 1-855-400-7282. Joe's listening on WVLK in Kentucky. Joe, this is John DePietro. You're up on the Savage Nation, Joe. 
Well, I hate to admit it, but I had to vote for Mitch McConnell because his opponent was a professed Obama follower, Allison Leonard and Grimes. But I'm I'm wondering when are the American people going to have enough of the lies of these people that we elect to be so-called leaders? You wouldn't tolerate it if your wife lied to you or your child lied to you. Why do we tolerate it from these people? You know, thank you for the call, Joe. Well, most people don't. Most people don't tolerate it. And one way around it is certainly that there should be transparency. Now, let's play clip three. I want you to listen. This is, I mean, of all people, progressive, liberal Democrat, Elizabeth Warren, going against President Obama, going against the Republicans, and demanding transparency on this. Let's listen. This is clip three, Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren. So if there are no good reasons for secrecy here, that leaves only a bad reason. And believe it or not, it's a reason I've heard people give multiple times. We should keep the deal secret because if the details were made public now, the public would oppose it. Well, that's how our democracy is supposed to work. If the TPP is mostly done and the public wouldn't support it if they could see it, then it shouldn't become a law. Think of that. Don't show the public the details because then otherwise they would be against it. Don't show the public the details because otherwise they're not going to support it and they would want to stop it. one 855 400 Savage. Remember, log on to our website, michaelsavage.com. You can see this story and many other stories. Let's go to line one. Janice is listening on WABC in New York. Janice, you're up on the Savage Nation, Janice. Yes, hi. Um, I'm just curious. I heard that Ted Cruz, of all people, voted to fast track this thing. You know, us conservatives gotten used to rhinos and establishment Republicans pulling this kind of crap. But has anybody heard Ted Cruz defend his position on this? It's a very good point, Janice, and think, thank you for the call. And think, and that's someone who wants to be the next president. Line four, let's go to Butch, listing in Atlanta on WXYC. Butch, this, this is John DePietro, and you're up on the Savage Nation. Hello, Butch. Hey, well, thank you. I'm surprised why everybody seems to be surprised about uh, Mitch and uh, the House leader going in cahoots with Obama. Uh, you, you may recall that his purpose his premises that lead from behind. And when people view that as a sign of weakness, it's working on behalf of Obama because to, to sit at the table of power, you have to go along with Obama. So all the folks who want a part of the action and everybody wants power, they have to sit with Obama. And that's why it makes perfect sense that the American people are getting could continually get screwed because they want power and money. And when you have the two of those together with this trade agreement, the rich get richer and they stay in power. So it's very simple. I, I don't understand why people are so shocked. I'll, I'll tell you why, Butch, and thank you for the call, because we don't expect them to just go along. And the real power is if then you're representing what the people really want. You don't suddenly now just start to cave and go along with this administration. And if it is in everyone's best interest, why is it being kept a secret? Why do you have to you can't even take notes in looking at it? Why if, if it is if it is in everyone's best interest and it makes sense, what well, Orrin Hatch is going along, he doesn't even know what's in it. Let's go to line five. Tom is listing in Michigan on WJR. Tom, you're up next on the Savage Nation. Hey, John, thanks for taking my call. Very welcome. Um, in regards to our selected officials, and I don't mean elected officials, there's no doubt in my mind that these people have been bought out, sold out, or they're being blackmailed. And in regards to the previous callers, I agree with what uh, one gentleman was touching on. Uh, I think that these people, they have something over them because there's no reasonable answer as to why they would be selling out our country and going in the opposite direction that we need to be going in. And to answer your question now, you you uh, asked earlier, I don't trust the government. I don't trust this president. And uh, I've been a lifelong Republican. And uh, to me, it, it seems as if it's just there's just one party now. We don't have a difference. We don't have a choice. 
Thank you for the call, Tom. That's a very, very good point. You know, why why would it be that way? Let's go to line eight. John is listening on WMAL. John, this is John DePietro, and you're up on the Savage Nation, John. Good mo- Good afternoon. The reason I called is uh, I remember uh, what happened in uh, the last November election where uh, we took control of the Senate and uh, we got uh, Mitch McConnell as the uh, majority leader, <clears throat> replacing Harry Reid. We thought things were going to change, and uh, just recently, Eric Holder was replaced by Loretta Lynch, and uh, they needed 51 votes, uh, just a simple majority uh, in the Senate to, pay, to confirm her, and uh, they, there were 57 votes to 43, and I understand 10 Republicans voted in that 57 would have only been 47, so she wouldn't have gotten approved, and that Mitch McConnell was one of the 10. So how do we win when we got the Mitch McConnells and the John Boehners that uh, even though they sound like they're going to do a good job, or they should, they should reflect the last election, but uh, things have gotten worse. The president, you wouldn't know that Republicans uh, took control of both houses. We figured things were going to be different. And so this blackmail stuff, well, I've always thought Boehner was a drunkard anyway, but uh, that shouldn't stop him. Uh, I think that's common knowledge. I don't know what they got on Mitch McConnell, but uh, is there... Do you you think that's what it is, John, that that they have blackmail on the Republicans and that's why they're going along? It's something. Uh, They're not doing what, you know, their party wants them to do. Uh, A rhino's too good a word for these people. Hmm. There's no question that they're not doing what they're supposed to be doing. 1-855-400-SAVAGE. 1-855-400-7282. Now, coming up, we will talk about more controversy with the Boy Scouts. Also, more news with ISIS in the news and a lot more. Remember, log on to our website, michaelsavage.com. This is John DePietro sitting in for Dr. Michael Savage, and this is The Savage Nation. Join The Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. Hey, our Savage Nation is sponsored by SwissAmerica.com, the only company I trust for wealth insurance, gold and silver. 1-855-400-SAVAGE, 1-855-400-SAVAGE. 7282. You're listening to the Savage Nation. This is John DePietro sitting in for Dr. Michael Savage. You're welcome to join the program. As always, log on to our website, michaelsavage.com. Check out the doctor's new book, Countdown to Mecca. You can order it from the website or it's available in stores right now. Let's go out to your phone calls. Miri on line four is listening on WABC in New York. Miri, you're on the Savage Nation. Hello. Hi. I think that everybody is wrong about the Elizabeth Warren thing. We know that Obama would like to see her as the next president. So I I could see him going to her and saying, hey, Elizabeth, listen, I've got everybody dummied up, and you know how good I am at that. So everybody's dummied up, and so you go out there, Elizabeth, and you be the savior. You be the one that says, Let's, uh, I want transparency. He said, and then he would say, you know, because that worked for me when I was campaigning and I became president. So then on talk radio, they'll all be talking about you as the savior, the surprising person that comes forward and everybody, while everybody else is dummied up. But Mary, why, thank you for the call, Mary, but then folks, the question, then why would the Republicans go along with it? Well, let's go to line nine. Ryan is listening on WJR in Detroit. Ryan, we'll get back to you. You're listening to the Savage Nation. As always, go to our website, michaelsavage.com. You can see all these stories and more, plus the doctor's new book, Countdown to Mecca, available now. John DePietro sitting in, Dr. Michael Savage. This is the Savage Nation. Warning. The Savage Nation contains adult language, adult content, psychological nudity. Listener discretion is advised. And now, America's most exciting radio talk show, The Savage Nation, home of unprotected talk, borders, language, culture. And here he is, Michael Savage. 
And 1-855-400-SAVAGE, 1-855-400-7282. This is John DePietro sitting in for the one and only Dr. Michael Savage on the Savage Nation. Love you to be part of the program today. Remember, log on to our website, michaelsavage.com, the new thriller, Countdown to Mecca by Michael Savage. Now, you can order it now, or it is available in stores. And also at the website, you can also see various news stories that you can read and all the different links, such as the New York Times list, omits Michael Savage, new bestseller. Hillary, got now classified Benghazi info on private email. How about more don't believe Obama and instead see ISIS as winning? There's also a story I just saw just a few moments ago that ISIS is now claiming they may have the capability to obtain a nuclear weapon within the next year. Again, log on to the website. It's michaelsavage.com. You can also see the story that everyone is disgusted on with Orrin Hatch and Mitch McConnell, how they sell out to the president, have sold out the people and sold out the Republican Party. We'll take your phone calls. 1-855-400-SAVAGE. There's also the story, Conservative Slam Boy Scouts leaders comments on gay adults, conservative religious organizations, Washington Times reports, or Newsmax, I should say, blasted Boy Scouts of America President Robert Gates for calling an end to the group's ban on gay adults. With an official of the Southern Baptist Convention telling Newsmax it was an incremental step towards full scout participation by homosexuals. We are disappointed but not surprised, said Richard Oldham. Meanwhile, Gates, his argument, said we must deal with the world as it is, not as we may wish it to be. This type of status quo and a ban on gay adults amongst the little Boy Scouts cannot be sustained. People are very upset about Gates' comments. We'll take your calls on that as well. First-time callers, welcome. 1-855-400-SAVAGE or 1-855-400-7282. I mentioned Orrin Hatch. Mitch McConnell going going along with the president. Lack of transparency, secrecy on the Obama trade plan. Let's go out to your phone calls. George is on line three, listening on WABC in New York. George, you're up first this hour on the Savage Nation. Hello, George. Hello, John. How are you? Very well, George. Go right ahead. Let me, let me start off by borrowing a line from the famous lady running for president. What difference does it make? <laughs> That's you know, right. what, what difference does it make? Because in 10 years from now, you're not going to be on a radio station doing a show. You and I are going to be taking our slippers off, bending over, saying prayers at the mosque. Okay? And, you know, I might be very cynical, but I think we we got to start being cynical and, and taking these people, uh, making them start to account. This is, this is crazy. This is crazy. You can't trust the president. You can't trust this government. You can't trust them on this, and you can't trust them on ISIS. And maybe it's less than 10 years since, since ISIS might have a nuclear bomb in the year. That's all I'd like to say. Thank you very much. Thank you for the call, George. Now, this business on, you know, how many people listing voted for a Republican? How many people, it, it, when you voted to send a Republican to Congress, did you send them there with the intention of that you would hope they would work with this president? Did you send them to Washington saying, boy, I'm, I'm really going to admire them if they show bipartisanship. I'm really, the reason I'm sending them there is because I want them to go along with the Democrats. Let's hear clip one. This is Mitch McConnell trying to explain why they have caved and now go along with President Obama. And this bill represents an opportunity for Republicans and Democrats to stand together for the middle class. So I hope our friends across the aisle will allow us to seize this opportunity, and I'm optimistic. We all know that trade is important for American workers and American jobs. And we all know that by passing this legislation, we can show we're serious 
about advancing new opportunities for bigger American paychecks, better American jobs, and a stronger American economy. What is so frightening is who listing right now is saying, I want them to work together. I think it's the opposite. Didn't you send, wherever you're listing right now, did you send a Republican to Washington saying, I want you there to work with this president? No matter what state, I want you there to work with the Democrats on their agenda. I think it's the opposite. one 800 savage I want to play for you clip two. This is Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren. She is the one complaining lack of transparency. She is actually the one that is opposing the president while Orrin Hatch and Mitch McConnell are going along and have caved to President Obama. Let's hear This is Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren. Even members of Congress are prohibited from talking about the details in public. And yet, in the next day or two, the Senate is scheduled to vote on whether to grease the skids to make that secret trade deal, the TPP, the law of the land. This isn't how democracy is supposed to work. One of our fundamental principles of representative government is transparency. Our government is supposed to keep things secret from the people only if it has a really, really good reason to do so. We are in dire straits when Elizabeth Warren is the one standing up to the president and the Republicans are caving to President Obama. 1-855-400-SAVAGE. 1-855-400-7282. And what about the Boy Scouts? Do you go along? With their president, Boy Scouts of America President Robert Gates, calling for an end to the group's ban on gay adults, saying that we have to deal with the way the world is now, and that's just the way it is, and from now on, we're just going to have to go along with it. Let's go to line three. Lindsay is listening on WABC in New York. Lindsay, this is John DePietro, and you're up on the Savage Nation. Hello, Lindsay. Yes. Well, actually, my name is Wendy. Okay, go right ahead, Wendy. And my comment is, I think I could understand the way parents feel, because I don't think that parents of Girl Scouts, little girls, would like to have men be leaders of their little girl. So anytime I've ever had this conversation with parents who have girls, and I bring this point up, they kind of really have nothing to say, and they're a little flustered. And that's my comment. Thank you for the call, Wendy. Let's go to Ryan on line nine. He's listening on WJR in Detroit. Ryan, you're up on the Savage Nation. Hello, Ryan. Hey, John. This is Ryan. I'm calling about this bill. Yes. There are how many riders are on this bill since they're not letting anybody see it? Right. Uh, What are the riders on this bill? That's what's got me worried more than the bill itself. That's a good question. Ryan, do you trust the Republican leadership now and President Obama with the secrecy of this, and and how about the comment, Ryan, that if the American people see it, then they won't want to support it or pass it, so we better not show it to them. Yeah, well, I don't like any of that. I don't like the Republicans. I don't like the president. I don't like the way Washington is right now. It needs to be changed. Do you respect or think more highly of Republicans that go to Washington to work with President Obama? No, they're liars. Well, thank you, for the, thank you for the call, Ryan. I, I mean, I, I, I don't know about you. I, I, for me, it's the opposite. I don't, I don't. I, the reason, right? Isn't that the reason you would elect a Republican is to not to reach across the aisle, as Mitch McConnell says, and demonstrate anything. I, I think it's to put up some element of resistance against the president's agenda, not to, not to go along with it. Let's go to line. Eight. Joseph is listening on WBAP in Dallas. Joseph, you're up on the Savage Nation. Hello, Joseph. Hey, John. How you doing? Very well, Joseph. Go right ahead. Uh, and you've got so many topics on there today, but the one I want to address is this trade uh, treaty. Yes, sir. Hey, the bottom line is, and everybody, nobody seems to be touching on this, but this is treason, outright treason, and these guys should be dealt with as such. And this also shows how corrupt our government has become. Because obviously, these guys who are voting yes for this, 
the Republicans, they must be getting some major kickback money. And you know how it always is. Follow the money. Hmm. And these guys have gotten so corrupted, McConnell, Boehner, all of them, that this is treason. So what are we going to do as citizens? I think what we should do is make a citizen's arrest of all of them. <laughs> Thank you for the call, Joseph. one 400 savage one 855 400 7282. It's very telling. Isn't it telling that Orrin Hatch even admits he doesn't even know what's in the bill? Why would the Republicans cave to President Obama? Did you elect, if you're listening right now, no matter what state you're in, do you elect a Republican to go there saying, I want you to vote and go along with the president's agenda? I need you there to support him. I, I would think if you wanted that, then you would have voted for a Democrat to go along. I think the whole reason is to try to work out their agenda and pass their agenda, not cave to the president's agenda. 1-855-400-SAVAGE. This is John DePietro sitting in for Dr. Michael Savage, and this is the Savage Nation. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. My Savage Nation is sponsored by SwissAmerica.com. It's the only company I trust to protect my wealth. Call 800-B-U-I-C-O-I-N. You're listening to the Savage Nation. This is John DePietro sitting in for Dr. Michael Savage. You're welcome to join the program. You can call one 855 400 Savage, 1 855 400 7282. Log on to our website, michaelsavage.com. Make sure you read Countdown to Mecca. You can order it. It's Dr. Savage's new book. Order it from the website or also available in stores right now. Well, a story that certainly has America talking. Boy Scout president calls for an end to a ban on gay leaders. Now, Robert Gates, the president of the Boy Scouts of America, former Secretary of Defense has now called to end the Scouts ban on gay adult leaders, warning the group's executives, was we must deal with the world as it is, not as we may wish it to be. Gates calling for an end of the ban on gay adult Scout leaders. Let's go out to your calls. Line two, Joe Berto is listening on WMAL in Washington. Joe Berto, you're up on the Savage Nation. Hello. Hi, thanks for taking my call. I just wanted to say I'm so proud of my son for making Eagle Scout last year. That's great. He aged out, and we don't have to deal with any of that. And if we have to deal with the world the way it is, do you think in the Middle East, in Boy Scouts, they allow homosexuality? That's all I got. Thank you for the call, Joe Berto. Someone pointed out to me, Two very key points here. Number one, most scout groups are sponsored by a church. So why should church groups have this kind of shoved down their throat? And number two, another very important part, is most of the scout leaders that are involved are parents of scouts. So if someone is not a parent, why would they then want to get involved with the Boy Scouts? Do you agree with Robert Gates, the president of the Boy Scouts of America, calling for an end to the Scouts ban on gay adult leaders, 1-855-400-SAVAGE, 1-855-400-7282. Let's go to line seven. Tom is listening on WMAL in Washington. Tom, this is John DePietro. You're up on the Savage Nation. Hello. Uh, hello. Thanks. Quick history lesson. I am an Eagle Scout. Back in the late 70s, there was a rash. I gotta remind people, it's been so many years they've forgotten. There was a major rash of multi million dollar lawsuits against the Boy Scouts because of a whole slew of molestations that came to uh, the shed light on. And tens of thousands of parents in a panic started pulling their kids out of scouting. There was a major crisis in scouting at the time. I know because I was a scout. I was a senior leader at the time. And the Boy Scouts really had, they, they didn't have an official policy in it. They just didn't think about it. 
But now they went ahead and put a ban on gays and, and started doing uh, screening on uh, serious screening on leadership. Of course, the gay community and the CLU and everybody started screaming bloody murder. The argument they used was the overwhelmed studies have shown that the overwhelming majority of pedophiles, they're not uh, pedophiles, are heterosexual, not homosexual. So that it's an immaterial, uh, totally immaterial to the argument because we were talking about a rash of male scout leaders that were molesting boys. Hmm. By definition, that's a homosexual act. Their argument was, but they're heterosexual because, look, a lot of them were married. Uh, no, that would make them bisexual, which, by the way, is the B and the LGBT. The point is, it's true that not all gays are pedophile, not even most gays are pedophile. Right. But the problem is, still, there is no need and no... There, there's too much threat and risk there. And when they did pass this, all of a sudden the lawsuits started going way down, and the cases went uh, way down. There's just no need for it. But here's here's the reason that they want in. It's the same thing they've done. They've successfully done it in some of the, like the Presbyterian and Episcopalian churches. They they have the same mentality. It's the Solinsky process. Just you know, convert from the inside. Hmm. So that you can't convert. Destroy. They want to trade into the Boy Scouts because they want to change it from the inside and gut it from what it is and turn it into. A, uh, 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 because it's a basically it is a one of those just like churches yep. it's a it's a bastion of you know uh, resistance to them they need to destroy the resistance they get inside and change it to the inside if that doesn't thank you Tom one eight five five four hundred savage John DePietro sitting in for Dr Michael Savage this is the Savage Nation. You're listening to the Savage Nation. This is John DePietro sitting in for Dr. Michael Savage. You're welcome to call into the program 1-855-400-SAVAGE. 1-855-400-7282. As always, visit our website, michaelsavage.com. You can see all the latest stories and also find out more about Dr. Savage's new book, which is Countdown to Mecca. It's available. You can order it on the website. Also available at better bookstores near you. I'm looking at some of the headlines that are crossing. How about TLC has pulled all episodes of 19 Kids and Counting. It's a popular reality TV show about the Duggar family amid allegations that their oldest child molested underage girls when he was a teenager. TLC has said we're deeply saddened and troubled by this heartbreaking situation. Josh Duggar, Duggar, 27, issued an apology, quit his job, Following that bombshell article that claimed he had fondled five young girls aged 12 years ago. As a teenager, I extremely sorry, deeply regret what I did, hurt others. But TLC, now this is the second one. They had the problem with the mother on Honey Boo Boo dating a, uh, I believe it was a, a sex offender. Let's get back to your phone calls. Robert Gates inflaming many people saying... It's time for the Boy Scouts to end their ban on gays as scout leaders. Let's go out to your calls, starting with line five. Bob is listening on WJR in Detroit. Bob, you're up on the Savage Nation. Hello. Hello. How are you? Very well. Go right ahead, Bob. I have a comment on this uh, Boy Scout thing. Yes, sir. To me, the Boy Scouts are rooted in Christianity. It's just another attack by the gay agenda to uproot the the Boy Scouts and any other Christian establishments out there. It's just, to me, it's similar to the bakeries, the florists that don't want to provide their services for same-sex marriages. It's no different to me. It is, um, you know, it's funny you you said that, Bob, because a lot of people, and I think you would agree, a lot of people feel that this is more about religion than it is about sexual preference. What do you think? I totally agree. The the there is a definite attack on Christianity these days. And actually I'm a Christian. I believe it's a sign of the end. But nonetheless, it's still there. Well, Bob, but don't you thank you for the call, Bob. Don't you find, you know, you, you always hear about tolerance, folks, but the, the, there doesn't seem to be any tolerance for Christians or 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 anyone that holds a religious belief that seems to go against what their beliefs are 
Rich is calling from WABC on Line 6 in New York. Rich, this is John DePietro, and you're up on the Savage Nation. Hello, Rich. Oh, hello. Hi there, Rich. Go right ahead. Yes, sir. I uh, was a former Boy Scout in the 60s and uh, have great memories. And this will uh, decrease the number of applicants or re- people going into the Boy Scouts. I would have never gone in if I was, um, I would have never joined if I knew this was the case of uh, homosexual um, scout masters. I'm well, sorry. I, thank you for the call, Rich. Again, it, it's Robert Gates, former defense secretary. He is saying that the time is now and, and you have to, this is the way life is right now. We have to deal with the world as it is, not as we may wish it to be. And the status quo in the Boy Scouts cannot be sustained. Line four, Sharon is listening online to the Savage Nation. Sharon, you're up. Good morning. Hello, Sharon. Hi, John. Hi there, Sharon. Um, Go right ahead. I'm listening to all of this, and today's my shred day, so with each shred, I'm getting rid of a lot of uh, animosities built up. <laughs> Glad to hear that. Um, I I keep hearing, you know, we keep talking about the atrocities of Hatch and McConnell and the atrocities here now, the Boy Scouts, but I'd like to hear how can, what can we do? I would like to hear, you know, we can't wait for another election when they do these things because it's too long to wait in between. So what can we do short of taking our names off of the registration for Republican and, and go re-register independent? What else can we do? Well, thank you for the call, Sharon. Sharon's referring to the fact that many people, myself included, feel that the Republican leadership is is caving to the Obama administration. I, I think they have to, like everything else, Sharon, they have to be held accountable. And they have to go back to why they're sent there in, in Washington. There's far too many deals that are cut. There's, there's just far too much caving to the politically correct. And, and people have to remember why why they were sent there and who they're truly supposed to be representing when they get there. Let's go to line nine. Billy is listening on WABC in New York. Billy, you're up on the Savage Nation. Hello, Billy. All right. Great show, John. Talk- Thank you, Billy. And talking to the Savage Nation. But first, I would like to say something about Memorial Day before the Boy Scouts. You know, sometimes you wonder why some 18-year-old American boys are on a battlefield when other 18-year-old American boys are on a baseball field. I have no answer for that, but I could tell you lucky for America, the right ones were on the battlefield, and they are true warriors. And um, this thing about the Boy Scouts and the leaders putting gays in there, gays in the leadership positions in the Boy Scouts, is they're forcing these people to take something that they don't want. So to me, it's just another giant wrecking ball that's going through Western civilization, and no one is doing anything about it. This wrecking ball has uh, is like an open field and it's taken everything out in its way and it's turning everything on, under its uh, upside down and the average american is against this thank you for the call billy 1-855-400 savage 1-855-400-7282 let's go to line two john is listening on wmal in our nation's capital john this is john DePietro, and you're up on the savage nation Hey, thanks for taking my call. Very welcome. First thing is, is wasn't Gates uh, head of the Department of Defense when uh, they got rid of the "Don't Ask, Don't Tell" policy? Correct. Uh, that's 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 one issue. The second issue is that what they're doing, I feel strongly about, is against the Scout Oath. Uh, you know, on my honor, I would do my best, do my duty to God and country, to obey the Scout laws, and help other people all times, keep myself physically strong, mentally awake, and morally straight. I'm 63 years old, and I still remember that. Okay, so it's another erosion of the standards of this nation. And as we go into Memorial Day, are we doing all those veterans that gave their lives for principles of morals and freedoms of this country, are we doing them a service? I think Gates should step down from the uh, leader of the Boy Scouts. Thank you. Thank you for the call. 1-855-400-SAVAGE. 1-855-400-7282. Again, Robert Gates, he is the president of the Boy Scouts, former Secretary of Defense. He called to end the Scouts' ban on gay adult leaders, saying we have to deal with the world 
as it is. Now, on top of that, obviously, many uh, religious organizations, conservative groups are upset with this. And I think a lot of people feel this is, in, in fact, an attack on religion, not so much on sexual preference or why someone would want to be involved with scouting. Let's go to line seven. Drew is listening in Albany on WALG. Drew, you're up on the Savage Nation. Hello, Drew. Hey, thank you, Drew. Jane McCall. Uh, I am an Eagle Scout. I'm also currently a Scoutmaster. And two years ago, when they went through and allowed the gay youth into the, into the scouting, uh, our charter orgs, which as you referred to are mostly churches, came to us and said that if they allow adults that they were going to drop us. And unfortunately, I think that's what we're going to see now is if this does go through as a full, you know, they go through and announce it fully that they are going to do it, that's what we're going to see is there's going to be a lot of our organizations that are going to come up and say, we're no longer going to support you, and that's going to kill scouting as it is because that's the, that's the majority of our representation is the churches. Well, thank you for the call, Drew. You know, as much as uh, as much as Gates is is going back to invoking his experience with the military and helping to end the "don't ask, don't tell," I don't think you do. Do you think it's the same as someone serving in the military compared with someone who's then serving as a scout leader? I don't think his comparison is fair. Let's go to line three. Dan is listening on WABC in New York. Dan, this is John DePietro sitting in for Dr. Michael Savage, and you're up on the Savage Nation. Hello, Dan. Hello? Go right ahead, Dan. Yeah, hi. Uh, I'd just like to say something about the uh, Boy Scouts. Go right ahead. Uh, just that uh, I think uh, Mr. Gates is right that uh, we should live with the world we're, we're with now. Uh, the problem is that the gay community represents about 2% of the total population of the, of the whole country and last night the boy scouts was a private enterprise and i think uh this, the boy scouts need to find a new president <laughs> well uh thank you for the call you know what's interesting is now you know that number keeps rising now i think the latest statistic i saw was they're now claiming that it's more they're trying to say it's 20 percent of the population so that that's um i believe that would be a new number but uh for the boy scout president to call for an end to band on, on scout leaders that certainly I mean does does he truly have have the, even the power and the right to do that Eric is calling on line one listing on WABC in New York Eric you're up on the Savage Nation hello Eric hello I'm against the free trade agreement 100% but I have a totally different take than everyone else everyone seems to think that this is Republicans going uh, along with Obama and it's the other way around and history proves it Free trade is Republican religion. Free trade has always been Republican religion. When Clinton had the free trade gr- agreement, 100% of Republicans voted for it, about 60% of Democrats voted for it, and it was their own president pushing it. So it is absolutely a conservative ideology idea, and it is Obama going along with this Republican religion. So that he's actually Obama caving, not the other way around. Well, thank you for the caller, but at the same time, you can't ignore I mean, it's being done in, in secrecy. And it, it should be a transparent process. People should not have to even, you know, for Orrin Hatch to admit that he doesn't even know fully everything that's in the bill. And they can't even take notes when they look at it. And they can't talk about it. I mean, I don't, I, I'm amongst those that don't support or trust this administration. And for the Republican leadership with Mitch McConnell and also Warren Hatch to go along with the president on this. That's why people are so upset, and I think they have a right to be upset. 1-855-400-SAVAGE. Michelle on line three is listening on WJR in Detroit. Michelle, you're up on the Savage Nation. Hello. Hi. I wanted to give you another spin to this. Um, My son is in the Boy Scouts. I'm a single parent. And my son goes away for weekends on campouts with the Boy Scouts. I am not allowed to go. 
he goes with the troop leaders that are all men. So I would extremely not be comfortable sending my son away for the weekend without me with homosexual men. I'm sorry. He's I'm just not comfortable with that. Well, you know what's interesting, Michelle, is, you know, and I don't know who your son's scout leaders are, but if it's one thing, if if many of the people and the adults are involved, Michelle, most of them tend to be parents whose sons are, in fact, you know, scouts, and so it's it's their dads. But if you have various people who don't have children on scouts and are openly gay, Michelle, don't you, I mean, I, I, I think it's a fair question to try to understand the attraction of why someone would want to be involved, don't you think? Right, correct. So right now, you, you would not feel comfortable. Can I? How old is your son? He's 12 years old. He's 12, and he enjoys scouting. Yes. Yeah, but you, you would not feel comfortable sending him away for the weekend to sleep in a tent with an openly gay man who's a scout leader. Absolutely not. No, I would not. And we have quite a few men that are in our troop that do not have children. They're just volunteers. So yep. they're going away also on these weekends. And there's week-long camps also. Well, you know, it's always interesting. I mean, sometimes, Michelle, you see, I don't know if you're, um, you, no, you're a single parent, but if your son is involved in sports, I mean, as someone that has coached youth sports, I coached when my children were on the team, and to spend the time to do it when they were no longer involved, you know, as enjoyable as it was, part of the enjoyment was the fact that, you know, my, my children were on the team. So, Michelle, do you, um, like the, these other men that are involved, is it because they've been doing it for a long time, or what's, what's your take on it? Yes, they're uh, the retired gentlemen, and they're sure. Eagle Scouts themselves, so they enjoy still participating yeah. in the Scouts event. I mean, that is fine, but you, you would, thank you for the call, Michelle, you would not then just send him off for a weekend with some openly gay uh, adult men. We'll take your phone calls. 1-855-400-SAVAGE. 1-855-400-7282. This is John DePietro sitting in for Dr. Michael Savage. This is the Savage Nation. Join the Savage Nation. Call now. 855-400-SAVAGE. 855-400-7282. Savage. My Savage Nation is sponsored by SwissAmerica.com, the only company I trust to protect my wealth with gold and silver. Call 800 B U I C O I S. Savage Nation, John DePietro sitting in for Dr. Michael Savage, taking your phone call at 1 855 400 Savage. Let's go to line seven. Sally is listening on WABC in New York. Sally, hello, you're on the Savage Nation. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I just wanted to say that um, there is a thing called sexual imprinting, and then, of course, there's role modeling. So you have leadership that is. Um, you know, in that position, it could be a big influence on a young person, um, and you know, and, and the parents would not have any right to do to do or to say anything about it. I can I make a comment about the quickly TV also quickly. Okay. Um, the, the Investors Business Daily yesterday said that it will it will um, the way it's set up the Congress role will be totally um, overridden in in the future because the authority gives the president to change. Let, let's hope so. You're listening to the Savage Nation. John DePietro sitting in for Dr. Michael Savage. Don't forget our website, michaelsavage.com. You can order the doctor's new book, Countdown to Mecca, all on the Savage Nation. It's adult language, adult content, psychological nudity. Listener discretion is advised. And now, America's most exciting radio talk show, The Savage Nation, home of unprotected talk, borders, language, culture. And here he is, Michael Savage. This is The Savage Nation. This is John DePietro sitting in for the one and only Dr. Michael Savage, taking your phone calls at 1-855-400-SAVAGE, 1-855-400-7282. Eight two. Log on to our website, michaelsavage.com. You can see Dr. Savage's new book, Countdown to Mecca. Now, you can order it from the website, but also available at better bookstores near you. You'll also find always the latest news at michaelsavage.com. I have it as the first page that I pull up. There's all the important stories that you need 
different links. You can also see other books that Dr. Savage has written. It all starts by going to michaelsavage.com. Some of the headlines that you'll find on that website, Clinton got now classified Benghazi info on the private email. Are we really going to elect Hillary Clinton to be the next president? Can you imagine how difficult it would be to try to get this information if she were president? And it's all of this trying to get information when she's not yet the president. A big story that is making news is former Defense Secretary Bob Gates, president of the Boy Scouts, announcing his plan. Going against many people, as a matter of fact, Bob Gates calling for an end to the Boy Scouts group ban on gay adults. And Bob Gates trying to say, you know, I I did it in the military. This is not a military organization. This is still an organization that is focused around churches, children, participation between children and adults. Many, many organizations, many conservative groups, many church groups, blasting Bob Gates' call for an end. Do you agree with his calling to the end of the Boy Scout group ban on gay adults? 1-855-400-SAVAGE. 1-855-400-7282. Then we have the situation in Baltimore. Let's hear clip eight. As I previously indicated, my office conducted an independent investigation into the circumstances surrounding the tragic incident with the death of Freddie Gray. On May 1st, our investigation revealed that we had sufficient probable cause to bring charges against six police officers. As our investigation has continued, additional information has been discovered, and as is often the case, during an ongoing investigation, charges can and should be revised based upon the evidence. When do they start the indictments against those who burned down the CVS? When do they start the arrests and the indictments on the looting that was done, on the lawlessness that was done. When does that start? I haven't seen any of that as of yet. So I guess it's okay to commit arson. I guess it's okay to commit violent crime. When does that accountability start? Let me know when that happens. Let's go to your phone calls. Again, if you'd like to call into the program, 1-855-400-SAVAGE is our phone number. one 855 400 Seven two eight two, talking about the scouts. Let's go to line six. Frank is listening on WJR in Detroit. Frank, this is John DePietro, and you're up on the Savage Nation. Hello, Frank. Yeah, hi, John. Uh, I want to take a brief moment uh, first to thank all of our veterans on this uh, Memorial Day weekend. Um, my my comment, John, is that I'm kind of tired of these um, people who have uh, the, the desire to experiment socially here co-opting these organizations that have been around for a hundred years and that are based on Judeo-Christian values. All the people that have built these organizations, the time, blood, sweat, and tears they put into them to get them to where they are today, were based upon uh, the fact that these organizations had these values. I would like to see the folks that have these other other uh, ways of thinking and beliefs start their own organizations and spend a hundred years building them gather the people into these organizations willfully, have the people spend their time and effort and money and weekends and and holidays and fundraising to build these organizations that support these LGBT lifestyles, and then come to us and say, look, we have these competing organizations, your organization has one set of views, ours has another, let's decide which one we're going to keep. But I'm tired of seeing these, these wonderful organizations that have been built in this country supporting the values that have built this country being co-opted. Thank you for the call. 1-855-400-7282. 1-855-400-7282 or 1-855-400-SAVAGE is our phone number. Let's go to line four. Max is listening on KSFO in San Francisco. Max, this is John DePietro, and you're up on the Savage Nation. Hello, Max. You know, it's amazing to watch. You no, know, Michelle Obama has a favorite expression when she lectures, I mean, teaches children. You, you know what that expression is? What's that? It's the way it is and the way it should be. So it's totally the way it should be, the way we want it to be in the future. 
So this is what they live by, and it's totally opposite to what they're what they're going what they're feeding you. Do you think would this be the end of the Boy Scouts unless they they make this change, Max? Would this be the the I, end I, of the Boy I, Scouts? I, I, I live in Canada, and the whole purpose of this is to desensitize you, to make you feel that gay marriage and all of this is a wonderful thing and is ordinary, and, and it's just, just desensitization, step by step by step. Thank you for the call, Max. Let me go to Bill on line eight. He's listening on WFTL in Florida. Bill, you're up on the Savage Nation. Hello, Bill. Hi. In, in reference to the military connection, and uh, having our young kids in proximity of um, homosexual male adults. I, I was an early childhood teacher for 20 years in this area. I've been a prison guard, and more recently, for a number of years, I've been a, a special ed teacher. My issue is it is ludicrous for Gates to make a connection between what is, is open for a military culture and for adult males or females in the military for that to be acceptable and for him to make the move and put young children that are emotionally, developmentally uh, very vulnerable if parenting and, and the family itself is what is the basis and the building stone of culture then how is it that we can throw out the window and, and turn our, isn't it incredible that parents are not allowed to let their children walk uh, a half a mile to a park or from the park to their house, and they might be considered child abuse, but a parent that would turn their child over to somebody that could potentially, because they're a homosexual or just because they're a pervert, if they happen to be um, a, a pedophile. It's ludicrous, I, I, you know, because of my age, I'm a former Vietnam Marine, and it's ludicrous that this is even being discussed. Thank you for the call, Bill, and also thank you for your service. I, I, I actually agree, especially when uh, Bill was mentioning how, you know, Bob Gates was trying to point to his experience with the military, and, and he said his, in that role, he helped end the military's don't ask, don't tell policy, and felt, you know, well, that, that even that's discrimination. But... You know, there's a difference between, don't you think there's a difference between adults serving together in the military? And here you have, you know, this is children. These are, these scout leaders are adults. And John Stemberg, president of the Florida Family Policy Council, conservative Christian group, said, I think it's a sad thing. I think many families and boys will be negatively affected by the Boy Scouts' departure from their longstanding principles. He's a chairman of a Christian youth group that was formed as an alternative to the Boy Scouts after their 2013 shift. 1-855-400-SAVAGE. Let's go to Mike on line 5, who's listening on WABC in New York. Mike, you're up on the Savage Nation. Hello, Mike. Hi, John. Thank you uh, for taking my call. Very welcome. Hi, John, I'm an assistant scoutmaster, and... Uh, uh, I'm just getting madder and madder as I picked up my uniform to March and Monday's parade uh, about this whole issue. But this has been going on for years. I remember when I was going to college, some uh, that pinhead, Phil Donahue, who had the atheists on beating up on the Boy Scouts. It's just a, a, an attack on Christianity and try to continue to make this a secular nation. And uh, the Boy Scouts need to stand up for it say, hey, you know what, now we're not going to accept you, and if we fall on our own weight, we fall, but I don't think it will. It's the best used organization out there, and you know what, don't most uh, gays and lesbians want to be left alone and live their life? Well, the Boy Scouts want to continue and not be bothered with this. We're too busy teaching kids how to, uh, how to grow up and be responsible and, and care for themselves, but uh, and learn life skills. I mean, I got a 12-year-old in it, said, Dad, I've learned so much, it, it's just amazing. I can't think of wanting to do anything else. And I think this is sad, and it, somewhere it's got to stop. Thank you for the call, Mike. As as uh, as one person had pointed out, number one, many of the large sponsors of the Scouts are actually church groups, number one, and number two, that many of the adults that are involved are actually the parents of Scouts. 
So wouldn't this potentially be an invitation? What about some adults that don't have any children and they get involved and want to be in uh, along on the leadership and the camping and being a troop leader? 1-855-400-SAVAGE. 1-855-400-7282. This is John DePietro sitting in. For Dr. Michael Savage, and this is the Savage Nation. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. Your Savage Nation is sponsored by SwissAmerica.com. It's the only company I trust for tangible assets, gold and silver. Call 800-B-U-I-C-O-I-N. This is the Savage Nation. John DePietro sitting in for Dr. Michael Savage. You're welcome to join us by calling 1-855-400-SAVAGE. Also log on to the website, michaelsavage.com. You can see the doctor's new book, Countdown to Mecca. Order it from the website or available at a bookstore near you or a store near you. Let's go out to your calls. Line 4, Henry is calling from Chattanooga on WGUN. Hello, Henry. You're on the Savage Nation. Yes, thank you for the call. Um, these Democrats are so hypocritical. Everything they ever say is, oh, we have to do this and that for the children. And, you know, if it wasn't for the children, we couldn't do this. They are so such hypocrites. They're putting these children in direct jeopardy with people that are not going to do them well. We all know this. And we have to start speaking with one voice. You know, one of the reasons Democrats are so successful in everything they do it's because they seem to speak with one voice, and we've got this garbled message. We have to put our foot down on this topic, and we have to say, no, you're not going to put perverts in with the Boy Scouts. And, you know, single mothers and, and single fathers, you know, that's fine. But when if you're a homosexual, you should not be in the company of minor children without their parents doing, you know, who knows what on these camping trips. And I was a Boy Scout. Believe me, and I have very fond memories of Boy Scouts. But if anything would have ever happened to me when I was a child, my dad would have wrung their neck. Thank you for the call. Let's go to line eight. Michael is listening in Reno on KKOH. Michael, this is John DePietro, and you're up on the Savage Nation. Hello, Michael. Well, hello, sir. Thank you very much for fighting the good fight. I love Mr. Savage. Um, okay, straight to the point. Um, and that last caller was correct. What we need to do is... is Say no. Just um, I'm tired. I think everybody is sick and tired of these people forcing their opinions and their views on the rest of us, especially our innocent youth. And we all opine over and over and over again. This seems to happen. This has been going on for a long time. How we get together, we talk about it amongst ourselves, but nobody really, really ever does anything. The bottom line with this one is, let's get together, everybody that is has major concerns about this situation with the boy scouts pull the kids from the boy scouts it's just the only thing that we can do that will make us heard i believe that with the homosexual agenda what they are doing has over the over the years slowly encroached upon our beliefs and values and it is a perversion and but our kids young minds fresh minds they have no they have it's very conflicting and confusing to them. I can imagine when I was a kid, if I had all of this going on around me, and I saw the homosexuals getting special treatment and all of this great uh, attention, that maybe I would have said, well, maybe I want to be gay too. And they don't even really understand what being gay is. So we need to put our foot down. And, that, and I'm talking about with every issue with this government. We need to stand up, and this talking has to stop. We have to actually do something. They perceive well, us as cowards. Well, just uh, just so we're all clear, it's it's Robert Gates, who is the president of the Boy Scouts. He's the one calling to the end of the group's ban on the Boy Scouts' ban on, on, on gay adults. So it, it's the president of the organization. So to say, well, then everyone should quit the Boy Scouts, if people feel that strongly about it, now, uh, Gates says that, you know, he was the one instrumental in ending the don't ask, don't tell. That if, if people feel that strongly about it, 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 it sounds like something that should be looked at at maybe new leadership within the Boy Scouts. Gates is saying 
that you, you have to, his quote is, you have to deal with the world as it is, not as we wish it to be, and that the status quo cannot be sustained. But he was U.S. Secretary of Defense and helped end the don't ask, don't tell policy that uh, barred gays from serving the military. So, And he, he tries to now use that experience as he is the president of the Boy Scouts. And as you can imagine, various conservative groups and church groups are extremely upset about it. We'll continue to take your phone calls. 1-855-400-SAVAGE. 1-855-400-7282. A reminder, log on to our website. You can see this story and other stories listed at michaelsavage.com. You can see also the latest on ISIS. Controversy there. More controversy with President Obama and, of course, Hillary Clinton in the news regarding the latest release of some of her emails. It's John DePietro sitting in for Dr. Michael Savage. You're listening to the Savage Nation. 100 Savage, 1 855 400 7282. As always, visit our website, michaelsavage.com. Dr. Savage, his new book, Countdown to Mecca, available now. You can order it at the website or pick it up at a store near you. Well, Boy Scout President Bob Gates certainly has riled a lot of people. He announced yesterday the Boy Scouts are going to end their ban on having gay scout leaders. And let's be clear. I mean, one element, some of the callers referring to someone who's gay is a pervert. I mean, you can't combine the two. This is truly, there were people that, there were religious groups that are upset about this. This seems to be more about war against religion than war against a gay individual. And they seem to be getting confused somewhat. Let's find out what you think. Starting with line two, Kevin is listening on WABC in New York. Kevin, you're up on the Savage Nation. Hello. Thank you, John. To the veterans, to Mike who's listening, and to you, John. Holiday. I'm an Eagle Scout, junior assistant scout master when I was a kid. Um, the church has a definite responsibility for a place for the scouts to be able to meet. However, corporate donations are a major factor for the Boy Scouts to be able to stay in business, and homophobic labeling limits that funding. Um, prior to Gates, uh, the last uh, president was making $3 million, and uh, Gates is only making one point two. so it shows that there's an an erosion of funding, and I think that's the majority of um, disclaimer for why they're trying to be able to move into the future so they can keep the scouting alive because the funding isn't there. And I, I don't know whether or not that is a moral issue or whether that's just a strictly a financial issue. That he, You're saying he feels that they're not going to be able to exist unless they adapt and that their donations and sponsors are going to dry up. Correct. I mean, when we were kids, you know, we would have people come in and uh, make major donations to the Boy Scouts, and they would name a, you know, scout reservation after them. Uh, I don't think that people would want to be labeled, you know, a a benefactor or, um, you know, outside of, you know, giving to the Clintons, um, but to be able to be associated with, you know, a particular label. And I think it's the the people that are trying to be able to change the scouts are very adept at being able to, um, you know, mastermind a, a program to, uh, you know, limit these funding by uh, this uh, homophobic label. Hmm. Thank you for the call, Kevin. Let's go to line three. Don is listening in Montana on KBLJ. Don, this is John DePietro, and you're up next on the Savage Nation. Hello, Don. I wanted to make more of a, uh, ask a question more than a comment. How do we know uh, that someone is gay or not? When someone wants to be a scout leader, does he have to declare his sexual preference, or how does that work? Thank you. That, thank you, Don. You know, that's a good question. Gates was the one that ended Don't Ask, Don't Tell. So this would be the ability that someone would not be uh, discouraged or eliminated from being a scout leader if, in fact, they're openly gay. And keep in mind, in a lot of communities, we're not talking about like all strangers, uh, someone would not have to face any ramifications and, if asked, would not have to deny it. Or, listen, but as we, as we know, there are many people who their preference remains unknown. And so I, I don't think it's so much as, as being 
being grilled, but someone what would uh, Bob Gates move towards would just be that someone could in fact be openly gay and that would not disqualify them from being a scout leader. You know, one of the other callers mentioned it is this is the Memorial Day weekend. And I think a lot of people, they're not sure how to, you know, you don't say happy Memorial Day. It is a very significant, very, very significant day. And you have to wonder just how far we have fallen with the president that's in office, the way that we're viewed around the world, the way that, you know, there are so many that no longer fear the United States or respect the United States. I think Monday is a day to reflect back on the great sacrifice that many men and women have made on behalf of their country. But you can't ignore the fact that this president and the way now that we are viewed in the world and how that has fallen off from where we were. Not that we can't return to that, but just not that that we're not there right now. Line 9, Karnas is listening on WBAP. Karnas, you're up next on the Savage Nation. Hello. 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 This is Ron from Las Vegas. How are you today? Sir? Very well. Go right ahead. Go right ahead? <laughs> yes. Am I on the radio? Yes, you are. Go right ahead. All right. We'll actually go to uh, line 5. Jim is on KSFO in San Francisco. Jim, you're up on the Savage Nation. Hello, Jim. Jim on line five. I'm here. Go right ahead, Jim. God bless all of our veterans and all of us that served and everybody else. And I think part of uh, the Boy Scouts uh, quandary is they're falling out of with God because, you know, it was a major function in their life. But if you look at the whole picture, this is part of a greater plan that's not just about, you know, the Boy Scouts or America. It's about uh, our families falling apart. And if you look back to 1963 and even further back, the Communist Manifesto, all the things that they said that they were going to do, they are doing to this country. And President Obama is a big part of that, and it, it is really disturbing. And all these sections that died to, to defeat communists, would roll over in the the grave if they knew what was going on now. Thank you for the call. You know, on the presidential front, billionaire Donald Trump continues to tease a potential presidential run. Appearing on Fox News, Trump reiterated he'll announce in June what his intentions are. He said, I'm gearing up. We'll see what happens. But he said, I want to make the country great again. This country is a hellhole, and we're going down fast. Trump weighed in on Jeb Bush, stating he doesn't look like he wants to be running for president. I think he's a reluctant warrior. I don't know why he's running. He looks unhappy. Looks like he doesn't want to be there. He also took shots at uh, Rubio as well. 1-855-400-SAVAGE. Richard on line 6 is listening in New Mexico on KKOB. Richard, you're up on the Savage Nation. Hello, Richard. Hello, John. Hi there. I've been a scoutmaster for seven years, and then we left the Boy Scouts on January 1st of 2014 because of the change in the membership requirements for the youth. Uh, my pastor and I, we, we recognized quickly that the uh, Boy Scouts would make this move that Bill Gates is putting forward, so we, we left as soon as our charter expired, and we joined a group called Trail Life, which is a great alternative to Boy Scouts. One of your previous callers said, what do we do now? The Boy Scouts are lost. It's a matter of corporate funding, which your uh, caller a few back mentioned also. And yes. so when the Boy Scouts turned to the United Way to handle their funding, and they placed corporate leaders on their board of directors, they became subject and a victim of political correctness. And so... Uh, Many of the corporations will not give their money to United Way to organizations that exclude homosexuals. So that's a totally separate topic. But the thing is, is the Boy Scouts are done. What we need to do is find organizations that will support teaching our boys how to become true leaders of tomorrow. And Trail Life, which you can find at Trail Life, 
usa.com is just that. I'm an NRA range safety officer and rifle coach. I've had my boys out to the local rifle range about 20 times since we started trail life. It took me three years and we went once under the Boy Scouts. It's very restrictive. We do many more outdoor activities, rock climbing, uh, high wire challenge courses uh, with Trail Life. It's a small organization. It's volunteer run. They uh, have only 12 members on the staff and they don't take government or formal corporate contributions. So TrailLifeUSA.com truly is the way to go. Thank you for the call, Richard. Let's go to line one. Mike is listening on KSFO in San Francisco. Mike, this is John DePietro, and you're up on the Savage Nation. Hello, Mike. Hey, John. Um, this is this is pure persecution, um, like everything else. They're persecuting Christians to stay out of the military. They're they're persecuting not to go into the military. You see what's already happened when if you have a business and you don't uh, you don't come and cater to a, a gay uh, bachelor's party, you'll be boycotted, shut down, and everything else. It's going to happen. They're going to do it. They said it would never happen. It is happening. Now, what somebody else said before you, a lady, says, what can we do about this? Okay, I believe that the first politician that comes up with this uh, this idea will be the next president. Okay, and don't blow me off on this. But the two parties, and they're good Democrats in this country. There are a lot of people in this country. The first politician that says that he's going to start a party called the American Constitution Party, I'm joining. And any politicians that run, that have to run on the, so then they won't be able to label Tea Parties or anybody else. That's the only way that we're, you would have so many people jump to that party, it would be mind-boggling. I would do it in a second, because there are no more Republicans. You already see what we have. Who would be the leader of it, Mike? The leader of it's going to have to be somebody that's going to run specifically on constitutional rhetoric. So no one right now? Well, there are a few out there. You've got the guy that fought the unions and stuff out there. Scott I Walker? Stuff. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there are people, but, but I really do believe that you will get the people that are so tired. Like I said, Democrats, good Americans, would do that in a second. Because there is no other way out at this point. They've got oh. it over a barrel. Because they can, they can label the Tea Party people and the centered groups and all this stuff. The American Constitution Party, if a good politician comes up, I'm going to join it. And I think a lot of other people, that's our only way out. I do believe that. All right, Mike, thank you for the call. 1-855-400-SAVAGE. 1-855-400-7282. Again, the Boy Scouts of America president, Bob Gates, calls for an end to the Boy Scouts ban on gay adults within the Boy Scouts. Let's go to line five. John is listening in Reno on KKOH. John, you're up next on the Savage Nation. Hello. Thanks, John, for taking the call. Very welcome. My point real quickly is by accepting the Boy Scouts then are condoning. And the point is is that they don't condone that kind of lifestyle. They never have. Alternative lifestyles are out of the, uh, the, out of the realm of the Christian values or the Bible and those things with which it was uh, developed. No idea is moral fabric. And uh, this gentleman, Gates, is coming in. Obviously, he's been planted in there with other interests and people who want him in there. Um, but, you know, with an agenda. He didn't start the Boy Scouts, uh, just like Obama didn't start America. But he is certainly trying to destroy it. Thank you for the call. I like that. No, President Obama certainly did not uh, start America. That's true. But right now, Bob Gates is, in fact, the president of the Boy Scouts. I don't know about his analogy, though, saying that he was the one that ended don't ask, don't tell within the military. I don't think that comes in. I think it is more about religion. I think it is more about war on Christianity. I think it that plays into it more as opposed to sexuality. What do you think? 1-855-400-SAVAGE. This is John DePietro sitting in for Dr. Michael Savage, and this is The Savage Nation. Join The Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. Hey, our Savage Nation is sponsored by SwissAmerica.com, the only company I trust for wealth insurance, gold and silver. 
This is the Savage Nation. John DePietro sitting in for Dr. Michael Savage. You're welcome to call the program 1-855-400-SAVAGE, 1-855-400-7282. As always, log on to our website, michaelsavage.com, for all the news, views, and reviews that you need, including Dr. Savage's new book. That's right, Countdown to Mecca. You can order it online from the website, or it's available at a store near you. Let's go out to your calls. Starting on line two, Casey is listening on KKOB. Casey, you're up on the Savage Nation. Hello. Hi, John. I'd like to make uh, two points. First point is that everybody keeps making the claim uh, that any gay scoutmasters would be prone to pedophilia, and being gay and being a pedophile is not the same thing. Well, not everybody. Don't not and note. I I completely agree with you, but certainly not everybody. But there were uh, at least one or two callers that that did say that. But that is not everybody. Yes. Okay. And then um, second thing being that the Boy Scouts of America is not a religious institution, and they're not beholden to any one religious institution. There are religions out there that do believe it's okay to be gay and even believe in gay marriage. So to say that the Boy Scouts of America need to hold the same values that certain groups or certain religions hold is just seems incorrect to me. Well, Casey, thank you for the call. But actually, many church groups are then the sponsors of the Scouts. So there is certainly a connection. In fact, one one of the the largest organizations, I believe, is the Mormon religion, is is one of the the biggest supporters of of the Boy Scouts. So there there is actually a religious um, uh, co- connection there. Let's go to line four. Dave is listening on KSFO in San Francisco. Dave, you're up on the Savage Nation. Hello, Dave. Hi, John. Um, yeah, I, I listen we listen to your program, and I called our local uh, Boy Scouts affiliate here in Pleasant Hill, California, and expressed my uh, opposition to Bob Gates's. Um, uh, leadership and uh, this fella uh, he he said that the administrators that he knows and the, lead, the leadership that he's uh, in contact with um, is in alignment with Bob Gates so you know the, it sounds like the uh, the issue is lost and the Boy Scouts have lost their way you got to remember though I mean you are calling the it depends on anything what branch that you call thank you for the call visit our website michaelsavage.com countdown to Mecca John DePietro sitting in for Dr. Michael Savage. This is The Savage Nation.